can you do with this Eric? Because historically it's been made for conservative inlay onlays. In fact, initially it was just inlays, and then as the digital optics improved, it went into onlays. Well, I use it for a lot of different applications. However, the bread and butter of CEREC is still your posterior conservative inlay onlay. I have clients coming into my practice who don't want full crowns. I don't know if that's what happens for you guys, but the internet is impacting the way people make decisions. I just saw a recent article that said that when people are looking for discretionary health care, and that would be medicine and dentistry, they will access the internet 70% of the time to glean their information before they'll ask us. So if patients are coming in with all this new information, they're going to come in knowing, I want a conservative restoration, I don't want a full crown. I even have people asking for what type of products I use. So that's where dentistry is going. And if you want to stay on the leading edge, we need to be up front about this. Well, fortunately with the CEREC, the bread and butter is where it really happens. However, in my practice, I've gone even beyond that because I just enjoy doing that. For instance, I love it in the ability to control my anterior aesthetics if I'm doing one or two uh, crowns, it's great. Uh, you need some skill training for that, but uh, the design features and particularly the templates in the CEREC have inherent gorgeous morphologies. And uh, so if we set the case up right, just the CEREC will design a, a restoration that's gorgeous in just about 30 seconds. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's mind-boggling to me. So I use it for anterior restorations. I love it when I'm doing a single crown, a single veneer. I love it for anterior implants because I have the ability to control my morphological emergence profile. And that way I can control my, my tissue architecture a lot better. Uh, I use it for comprehensive care as well. Of course, I was doing comprehensive care for years before the CEREC, so I used that background and systematically applied it to my CAD CAM unit. And you know, it's, it's made it that control of occlusion. For instance, with my CEREC and with a good bite registration that's accurate, I can control where I place my occlusal contacts. I can control the firmness of my occlusal contacts. So when it comes out of the milling unit, I have my system down to 20 microns of precision. And my hair here is over 100 microns, so think about that. So that ability to, you can tell I'm getting pumped right now, that ability to control occlusion is a huge factor in my control of comprehensive care. So uh, the applications are vast, and I think if you're thinking about the CEREC, it, it really, you can take it as far as you want it. And it's, it's almost like you know, I loved a tree house when I was a kid. I, I had, I remember that first tree house that I built with my brother. And I mean, we couldn't wait to get out of bed in the morning and jump up and have fun in the tree house. Well, I feel the same way about my digital CEREC. And so it's, it's kind of re-energized me after 25 years of, of dentistry. And, you know, I can't wait to go to work. You know, another fear that I hear, and it's a little hard to admit, because I'm over 50, is like, I'm not really comfortable with computers. Well, if you can open your email, you can easily design a CEREC restoration. And if you can't open your email, there's classes for that. So the integration of the computer to the practice should be pretty easy because they've, they've taken the software and really made it a friendly user. So uh, more of the, the application of CEREC in your practice is more of how you handle your clinical theater before you scan it into your computer, and then how you bond it in. So if you get those two systems right, the CEREC will just purr for you. So let's go back to the clinical theater, and I want to show you my CEREC. So come on back. That piano I had a dream about in 10th grade. I had my first pig trough at Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor and they had a player piano there and I said I want a player piano in my work. Of course I wasn't thinking of dentistry then and uh, patients love it. It's unique so and, and by the way piano music appropriately played will build a high level of emotional trust. That's in the research so didn't do it for that reason I just do it because I like the way it sounds and so do my patients. So let's go back to the clinical theater and uh, this here is my CEREC MCXL milling unit. 
And I'll tell you, when this is going and patients are moving down our, our treatment hallway here, is uh, they always ask questions, which is kind of neat. So it has an a, a inherent synergy of, of excitement and technology. And this unit here is very precise. Um, you can get excellent meals with it. And uh, of course, it's part of the CEREC system. So let's go into the operatory. And uh, this is uh, my CEREC AC unit blue cam. And um, this has been a recent upgrade, particularly with the optics in the, the blue cam LED camera. And it's really, really precise. So um, let's go through and how we use it. Thanks for watching the webcast here. Um, I appreciate you spending the time to do that and uh, hope you tune in again someday. Thank you.